As with many applications and utilities for OS X, there's a number of different products available to make the process of taking and managing screenshots a little easier than the inbuilt options. If the idea of keyboard shortcuts is not your thing, and for some people it isn't, then it's time to consider an app to help you. There's a number of screenshots apps available, such as Skitch, Snaps as a Pro X, Voila, and the one that I use, Little Snapper from Real Mac Software. In the same way that OS X provides keyboard shortcuts to capture screenshots in slightly different ways, so too does Little Snapper, and it manages it all in an app rather than leaving images on the desktop. One smart feature of Little Snapper is the ability to capture entire web pages. I can only see part of this web page on the screen, but Little Snapper allows me to capture the whole thing. Holding down Option Command 1 will capture the current web page in Safari to Little Snapper. And there we can see I've got the full length of the web page. Holding down Option Command 2 will open the current web page in Little Snapper's inbuilt browser. The ability to capture a web page as a screenshot is often invaluable. To do this without Little Snapper, you'd end up snapping a screenshot of the entire web content, scrolling down the web page, repeating the process, and then having to find a way of stitching the number of images together. Holding down Option Command 3 will snap the full screen and send it to the Little Snapper image library. Instead of sending the image to the desktop as with OS X, we can see that the image is saved here. Unlike OS X, Little Snapper will capture all screens from a multi-display configuration if that's what you're using. It captures each screen as a separate image. For example, if you're using a second monitor and you use the option Command 3, both monitors will be saved to Little Snapper as separate images. Option Shift Command 3 will save a timed screen and send it to the little snapper image library. Similar to the snap full screen option, this gives a five second countdown which is useful if you want to catch a, capture a menu or some sort of popover event in your screenshot. To escape the countdown timer, you can press escape. Option command four will snap an area of the screen. This option allows you to select a specific area of the screen using the combination option command four and the entire display darkens. Using the mouse, clicking and holding at the top left of the area you wish to select and dragging to the bottom right of the rectangle you wish to select. The area will no longer appear darkened. As you select your chosen area, the pixel dimensions will be shown. When you snap the selection, the screenshot will be sent to Little Snapper. Option Command 5 will snap a chosen window and send it to the Little Snapper image library. For those occasions when you just need to capture a dialog box or a specific window, this option allows you to get what you want without having to precisely and manually select an area. Upon selecting this key combination, Option Command 5, the whole screen dims with the exception of any window, window over which the mouse cursor is hovering. Move the mouse cursor to a different window and that becomes selected. To capture the screenshot of the selected window, simply click with the mouse and it will be added to your Little Snapper image library. 